Now, Russia has heavily criticized the United Nations for sacking the force commander in South Sudan after a report found that peacekeepers did not adequately protect civilians. The Russian deputy representative to the UN said that the dismissal of Lieutenant General Johnson Mogoakimani Ondieki was premature and had left the peacekeeping mission in ruins. CCTV's Nick Harper reports from New York. The fallout from the South Sudan report continues, now with sharply pointed comments from a Russian UN official. Earlier this week, the force commander in South Sudan, Kenyan Lieutenant General Johnson Ondieki, was fired at the request of the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Now on Thursday, Kenya's UN representative criticised that decision, saying Ondieki had been made a scapegoat. Now, Russia's Deputy UN Ambassador Peter Ilyachev has said for Russia, the decision was premature. With the force commander fired and the mission head stepping down at the end of this month, Ilyachev said the whole structure is in ruins. But for both Kenya and Russia to speak out against a decision that's been made by the Secretary General is indeed unusual, especially in the case of Russia, which is one of the five permanent members of the Security Council. And compounding the problems for the already difficult situation in South Sudan, Kenya has said that it is withdrawing its troops from the UN mission in the country. That's about a thousand of the 13,000 strong peacekeeping mission. Meanwhile, China has criticised the report itself. The investigation found that Chinese peacekeepers abandoned their positions during the three days of violence in July that left more than 70 people dead. The spokeswoman for China's foreign ministry, Hui Chongying, expressed regret that the report had created a negative impact on the mission and said the findings were groundless criticism. Two Chinese peacekeepers died during the violence. Nick Harper, CCTV, New York.